Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this eye look. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply some eyeshadow primer. And the one I'm using is by MAC Cosmetics. It's the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And the brush that I'm using is from Sigma. It's the Precision Angled P84 brush. It's basically like a very small kabuki brush. And I feel like it's perfect for applying the um, base. And I'm also going to drag it a little bit lower here because I'm going to do a round eye look. So the eyeshadow is also going to be in this area. So I want my eyeshadow primer to be there as well. I'm so excited to do this talk through today. I've never done like a talk through video where I do like the talk through part on my eyes. <laughs> Normally I always do like a voiceover. So hopefully this will be more helpful. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments if you prefer like how I'm doing it in this video or if you want me to do it like I always used to do in my other videos. Now I'm taking my Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush and going to set it a little bit with some translucent powder just to make sure that I won't get any um, wrinkles or whatever it's called. Like sometimes the eyeshadow moves around this area and I just want it to be like set in place. So for today's video, I'm going to use this gorgeous new palette from Natasha Denona and I have no idea what I'm going for yet, but I'm just going to try to use as much as possible shades from this palette. And the first shade I'm going in with is called Pastel Melon. And I'm going to blend this in my crease using this Duo Fiber Blending Brush from Makeup Addiction. I'm just going to start with blending this like straight in my crease. This is going to be my transition shade, so at the end you won't barely see like any of this shade, but it will help to like blend out all the other eyeshadows in my crease. Okay, I forgot to apply a light shade underneath my brow, I always do this. The Natasha palette doesn't really have a light shade, like white. So I'm just taking this white shade from the De Balm palette and applying this straight underneath my brow. And I'm only applying it like... Uh, below the highest point of my eyebrow So normally I would do this like before applying that light brown shade, but I forgot about it And I'm going back in with that pastel melon shade and that same brush and blending it once again in my crease And it's not like a huge uh, big deal that I um, First blended this in my crease and then went in with that light shade on the neaty brow because both shades are quite on the light side, it's not that bad. And I want to go for a round effect, so I'm also blending this like in this area. So not only like here, but also going a little bit lower. Okay, so this is about it. I feel like I'm done now. And now I'm going in with the next shade. So now I'm using the shade Fake Tan using that same brush and I'm going to try to focus a little bit lower but at the same time I'm doing the same thing as I did with the other shade. Just focusing like blending in my crease and a little bit around the uh, outer V area. This shade is like slightly darker so I'm just going to try to slowly build it up because the next shade I'm going in with is quite dark like in comparison to these two shades so I really needed like a shade which was slightly darker than the one I just used because else like the transition would be too big and harder to blend out now I'm going to use the shade Coco using a Suiva 238 brush and this is a very tiny brush and I like to use this brush whenever I want to create a line or something or like when I'm creating a cut crease because it's tiny you can work precisely with it so I'm going to create a sort of round crease effect because I want to do a halo eye look and I really like to like start with a round base this is not necessary or something you can also blend like a round effect just blend like in a round shape 
but this way it will be more sharp and I feel like a little bit more intense. And the Natasha Denona eyeshadows are really soft, so I'm not really worried about getting this to blend out. Just make sure that you don't press too hard because that way it will be harder to blend it out. So this is how it looks right now and now I'm going to blend around the edges to make sure that the brown fades into the other shades. So now I'm taking my Morphe M507 brush which is a super tiny blending brush and using that same color to blend around the edges. So here in the Netherlands it's super cold. Like the last couple of years we didn't really have like super cold winters. This year it's like a lot colder, still it's not like super bad, but compared to like the other years it's like really cold. So yeah, let me know in the comments where you're from, what kind of weather is it where you are at. I kind of really look forward to spring, but I have been eating so unhealthy that I feel like, oh my god, if summer is already around the corner and I still don't have the body I one for summer then that's kind of frightening but I'm trying to eat a little bit more healthy I'm I'm actually starting today so hopefully I will like um, be motivated enough to keep doing that because I just notice when I eat unhealthy my skin just really reacts to it and especially when I film videos like this like you can see everything on my skin so it would be so much more comfortable if my skin looks nice, so I feel more... It's just nicer to do makeup on it, like a nice base, if that makes sense. Now I'm taking the shade Sangria on a Morphe M506 brush, which is a little bit less dense than the M507. And I'm going to blend this around the edges as well. And then I'm taking my Morphe M507 again using the shade Fake Tan and applying this around the edges as well because I still <laughs> I still feel like the edges are quite harsh. So I'm going to blend this around the edges to make it even more soft, especially around my outer beads. There's too much dark eyeshadow. Now I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15 and I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid. And I'm using a MAC brush in the number 231 if I'm not mistaken. The name has faded away a little bit. And I'm going to create like a sharp line. Now I'm taking the shade Tiger Lily and I'm using a MAC 242 brush. I'm going to press this in my inner corner area and in my outer corner area and just pressing this on the eyelid. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. And then in the middle part of my eyelids, I'm going to use the shade Mint Frost, pressing this right on the place where I haven't applied product yet. And I'm also going to use my fingers because I know with these type of shades, your fingers work a bit better. Now for my eyeliner, I'm going to use the Inglot Gel Eyeliner, which is one of my favorites. Now 
Now for the end of my eyeliner, for like the winged part, I'm going to use the angled brow brush from Sigma. And I know this is a brow brush, but I really like to use this one for the winged liner. Now I'm going in with the Sigma Beauty liquid liner, which is called Line Ace. I'm going to apply this right on top of my gel eyeliner. I also feel like it makes my eyeliner look extra black. So I quickly applied my foundation. I used this new foundation from Laura Mercier and the newest concealer from Urban Decay. Now I'm taking my Mr. Right pencil by The Balm Cosmetics and I'm going to use this to apply it in the one line. Now I'm using the shade Laguna and I'm blending this underneath my eyes um, using a Morphe M507 brush. I'm just blending it back and forth. Now I'm taking a black eyeshadow and I know it's not included in this palette but I feel like I think everyone has a black eyeshadow. So I'm going to press this like in between my waterline and the blue eyeshadow. Then I'm taking the shade Tiger Lily with a Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to apply this like in between the black eyeshadow and the light blue shade. And then I'm using a little bit more of that matte blue shade, blending it like right below my lash line. And let me know if there's any color you would like to see me ne do next because I have done a few blue eye looks lately but if there's like another color like green or purple that you want to see back on my channel, let me know. So I'm taking a little bit of the Lyman Cello eyeshadow which is a light yellow shimmery shade. Applying a little bit of this just in the middle of my eyelid. And using that same shade like right in the inner corner area and below my lash line. And I'm taking a little bit of the exotic eyeshadow, applying it like right next to that light yellow shade. I'm going to apply my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So here you can see the end result of the eyes with some fake eyelashes. I will put the name of the eyelashes in my description bar. And now it's time for the face and I'm using the Too Faced bronzer which is so pretty. It was the first time trying it out and it's really nice and blendable. Then I'm going to use the Diamond and Blush palette from Natasha Denona using that coral shade for my blush. Normally I would always start with my highlight and then go in with my blush because I feel like this way the blush blends better into the highlighter but somehow I did it all the, the other way around but that's fine. I just applied it on the apples of my cheeks and then I'm going to use that gorgeous champagne color highlighter and I'm not applying too much just a little bit to make my skin look a bit more glowy because it was really dry that day. Then I'm going to use the lip pencil from MAC in the number, not the number, in the name Oak. And just overdrawing my lips a bit because I just like how it looks. <laughs> it makes them a bit bigger. Then for my lips I'm going to use the Namaste lip paint from Tarte Cosmetics. A gorgeous nude pinky shade. I think this color is so pretty. So this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoy watching. 
I really like how the eyes turned out even though I don't really like how blue shades look on me but besides that I think the palette from Natasha is amazing um, I think the bronzer from Too Faced is really nice first time trying it out and I used the Laura Mercier foundation which I'm not really a fan of but I will try it um, another time to see if I really don't like it or if it's just because my skin is so dry at the moment but yeah, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!